Liz doesn't find it very cash money that her sugar daddy, Big Ed, has to take breaks when they make sweet, sweet love. Maybe that wasn't That was making love, man. That was so gross. <laughs> Elizabeth, a question from the fans that watch this show. Is the fame worth sleeping with the evil version of Mike Wazowski? You don't. Probably not. If you clicked on this video, first and foremost, thank you for the view. I appreciate it. It helps me pay rent. Second of all, I assume that you enjoy watching trash TV shows, which is why you're here. And 90 Day The Last Resort is PU, the trashiest show that we've seen in a minute. Uh, some other people, they have bigger than some other people have small Shut <laughs> <laughs> where are you going in? Like, you know. On the show in episode four, they gathered up all the preachers for a stimulation in the pants seminar where they talked about how they could do a better job in the bedroom. Just about the only couple that was all smiles during this class was Jovi and Yara because they're the only couple that has a good bedroom life. For the other broken toys, it's not looking good. Liz admitted that Ed has to take a five minute break every time they try to make love because he gets tired and out of breath. And when this happens, she's so turned off by this that she pulls a Thanos and says, fine, I'll do it myself. If you're eating food right now, num, 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 you might wanna put your food down because it turns out that when Liz is getting herself off, Ed actually helps out. I prefer to just do it by myself. But she's had me do that to her, like. Oh, okay. But what? like, I've had to have him do it because like he gets out of breath so fast. Got it. <laughs> what confused it in me the most about the situation is that Liz spoke about it like it was a surprise to her that Ed was in the Casanova in the bedroom when look at him. The scene was very disturbing and high key funny to watch for a number of reasons, one of which being that Ed got super butt hurt when Liz exposed this in front of the other broken toys, especially in front of Kelly because they already got beef. And speaking of Kelly, have y'all seen the kind of messages that Molly's daughter Olivia has sent to Kelly? She called him the N word via email. Kelly posted this racist email that Olivia sent him to his Instagram. He said, this is what I had to deal with when I moved to Georgia, but they will paint an innocent picture. Newsflash, I am a white swell person and you're a loser who thinks you're not because you're a cop. You need to check yourself for real. I don't care what you think of me. I'll always be more successful than you'll ever be, you fat loser. And get some pants that fit your ashy ass butt crack. Doesn't show. No one wants to see it all the time. I'm blocking you now, but I'm glad I got you so upset. Bye, you pussy ass. Uh, yo, hold my poodle. Hold my poodle. Damn, with the kissy face at the end, is that any way to talk to the guy that was supposed to be your father? father-in-law? That's crazy to get racist like that. I just found another article which reads, 90 Day Fiance arrest warrant issued against Kelly Brown after alleged Olivia Hopkins altercation. After an alleged altercation with Molly Hopkins' daughter, the 90 Day Fiance star's ex, Kelly Brown now faces an arrest warrant and multiple charges. Kelly Brown, 90 Day Fiance star Molly Hopkins' ex, has an arrest warrant issued against him in connection with an alleged altercation with her daughter, Olivia. Georgia woman Molly, a mother of two, was first seen in 90 Day Fiance season five during which she married Dominican Republican man Luis Mendez. Molly continued to be part of the franchise after her divorce. She was in multiple seasons of Pillow Talk with Cynthia Decker and later found her boyfriend Kelly, a New York police officer, on 90 Day The Single Life. However, Molly and Kelly are no longer together after an alleged altercation between Kelly and Olivia in November 2022. In Touch obtained legal documents confirming the warrant against Kelly, physical harm, harassing communications, terroristic threats, and bad battery charges have been filed against the 90 Day Fiance star's ex-partner. Molly and Olivia released a joint statement to the outlet in which the former said, Olivia and I feel like justice has been served. The arrest warrant was issued on July 3rd, 2023, and the official charges were filed back in March 2023. The statement further added, we have been scrutinized and chastised in the media for months, and we now feel vindicated. The mother and daughter duo are relieved that the truth has finally come out. They wish for viewers to see who Kelly truly is. Now we're going to read what Molly and Olivia claimed happened between Olivia and Kelly. His lies caught up with him, and he got in trouble for what he did, period. The statement continued, Molly claimed that Olivia has been harassed for months and as a protective mother she finds relief in seeing that Kelly is getting what he deserved after allegedly harming my daughter. Molly and Olivia are grateful that they're one step closer to closing the chapter. A police report filed in February 2nd, 2023 claimed 
that Olivia was working behind the counter at her mom's store with Molly and another employee when Kelly walked into the store. It alleged that Kelly and Olivia got into an argument over Olivia's boyfriend and Kelly allegedly declared that he would come at her. When Olivia challenged Kelly, he allegedly rushed towards the counter to grab her by the neck and slam her against the wall. Kelly and Molly parted ways soon after and ended their two-year relationship. Prior to their breakup, Kelly had planned on moving to Georgia after his retirement, which he eventually did. But that's when this relationship started taking a turn for the worse. In April 2023, Olivia made headlines again when she was found guilty of violating the terms of her 2020 arrest following a domestic altercation between her and Molly. The dispute had occurred at Molly's house in Woodstock, Georgia. Molly and Olivia haven't had the easiest relationships, yet they gave each other a chance when they reconciled in March 2022. The pair appeared to have made up when they posed in matching bathing suits from Livy Ray lingerie to celebrate Women's Day. Molly still has her daughter's back, but in the meantime, parted ways with her best friend, Cynthia. The two apparently had a falling out after 20 years of being friends over Pillow Talk money. Cynthia announced she would no longer be appearing on Pillow Talk, Meanwhile, Molly and Kelly are rumored to have filmed an up-and-coming 90 Day Fiancé spinoff, which could shed more light into their breakup. Next article's title is Molly Hopkins' Daughter Sentenced to Jail Time Over Probation Violation. 90 Day Fiancé star Molly Hopkins' daughter Olivia is in trouble with the law again, and this time it will cost her over one month in jail. Olivia, who has been in trouble with the law before, was found guilty of violating probation terms during a recent court hearing. It comes after Olivia was arrested and booked earlier this month for violating the terms of a previous arrest. She was put on probation following a domestic violence incident with her mom at Molly's home in Woodstock, Georgia in October 2020. Which saw things get physical, Olivia allegedly struck the victim, Molly, multiple times in the head, leaving a clear visible red mark and kicked the victim in the leg. The document also revealed that a third party witnessed the entire altercation. Olivia was then charged with misdemeanor, simple battery, and was ordered to do 40 hours of community service and to pay a $500 fine. She also had to take family violence and anger management classes and was ordered to stay away from drugs and alcohol and have no violent contact with her mom. Molly Hopkins' daughter Olivia was recently sentenced to jail time. However, in recent court documents obtained by In Touch, it emerged that Olivia violated court orders and now faces the consequences. Previous documents claimed that Olivia missed two drug tests in March and said that she failed the drug test that she did take. She also reportedly did not enter a family violence treatment program as per the judge's orders. Furthermore, Olivia is said to have tested positive for fentanyl by con consumption at the time of her arrest and booking on April 4th. These reported breaches led a judge to sentencing Olivia to 45 days in jail during a hearing on Wednesday, April 26th. According to the outlet, after Olivia completes her sentencing behind bars, she will have to complete eight hours of community service each week, and she will be subjected to increased drug testing. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about this, but this man has shown a lot of restraint on this show. He had many opportunities to beat up little Edward when he called him a bitch multiple times, but he didn't. She didn't even submit any video evidence. There's no evidence that he did what she's claiming. However, Molly sided with her daughter because she's an enabler, and you can see by how she raised her daughter without any discipline. Who are we more inclined to believe? The guy that was the cop for 20 years keeping the citizens safe in New York City, or the white trash family, the daughter that has a history of drug abuse, violence, and racism? Huh. Let's stop and think about it for a second. No wonder Molly's doing the most on this show to try and pin every single problem and why the relationship failed on Kelly. What attracted me to him was that he was committed. He had something going. And I mean, when I start off the day with him and I say, what are you going to do today? And when he says to me, absolutely nothing, I'm like, okay. Your man quits his job being a cop in New York City, keeping the citizens of our beautiful country safe for 20 years. In one of the most stressful environments in the world, New York City, a city where it smells bad, there's loud noises, the homeless population are very aggressive, and it makes you feel like you're in a zombie apocalypse, not to mention it's very expensive to live there. So your man Kelly makes a huge sacrifice because he feels like that's the natural progression in this relationship. He quits his job as primary source of income and moves to Georgia. Why does it matter if he wants to slow down and take some time to rest and recover after 20 years of working all the time. If anything, it just seems like you're jealous because you had to work and he didn't have to work. He hasn't had time to come out of cop mode. 
Why are you shaking your head? You need to stand up for yourself, man. This woman emasculates you and manipulates you, tries to control the narrative in just about every single episode. Meanwhile, Kelly cries. Kelly's upset. Kelly doesn't talk about a lot of things that he should talk about. And you know what? Here's another thing. In one of the episodes I saw, I believe it was episode five, she talked about how, Kelly, uh, I wanted you to go to the toy store with me and experiment with sex toys and you never did it. She's looking for any reason to be negative and try to make Kelly feel like he's bad and he's not doing good in the relationship. Listen to me very carefully for everybody. If a woman told me that she wanted to involve toys in our bedroom life, here's the door. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Molly and her racist daughter can try and control the narrative and spin it to whatever story fits them and makes them look like the victim all they want. However, she's emasculating, she's manipulative, and you know what else Molly does that I don't like is she weaponizes Kelly's trauma against him. You don't want to talk about your trauma with your career, and until you have closure from that, there's no way we can move forward. Wow, that's a low blow using someone's trauma against them, especially because I think it has less to do with trauma and more to do with the fact that Molly was cheating on him throughout their entire relationship. Bingo! Yahtzee! Is that your final answer? Our survey says... today, aren't we, Socks? A lot of things are coming to light. The tea is piping hot, or in this case, the iced coffee is piping cold. If Kelly was being called an N-word via email, what do you think was said to him in person? The only way that tweet shit would get wilder is if she CC'd her mom on the email. Interestingly enough, it's also highly possible that Molly was physically abusive with Kelly because her daughter exposed her. Olivia Hopkins accuses Molly Hopkins of violence in a resurfaced video. Olivia claimed in the clip that Molly has been violent with not just her, but also past boyfriends and her former BFF and business partner, Cynthia Decker. Olivia said she was violent with Lewis. She's been violent with Cynthia. She was violent with multiple ex-boyfriends that I can remember. Molly Hopkins blasted by daughter Olivia in resurfaced video. She'll literally punch you in the face. A resurfaced video made by Molly Hopkins' daughter Olivia puts the 90 Day Fiance star on blast, making allegations that she behaved violently in the past. And the thing about my mom is she was with Louise. She's been violent with Cynthia. Yeah, she was violent with multiple ex-boyfriends that I can remember. If you say something she doesn't like to hear, um, she'll, she'll punch you. She'll literally punch you in the face. And mind you, I weigh 105 pounds, okay? My mom weighs twice that. It's no secret that Molly and Olivia have butted heads over the years and their disputes have led to Olivia's arrest in 2020. While Olivia was said to be the aggressor in that fight with the police reports claiming that Olivia hit Molly several times in the head, leaving red marks on her mother, it seems she had plenty to say about her mom's alleged behavior too. I'm accepting responsibility and I did that. I'm not saying I didn't do that, but... I mean, at, at what point, you know, just because she's funny on TV, that is not who she is. The resurfaced clip of Olivia was filmed after her 2020 arrest and sees her make claims about Molly allegedly having a history of violence. The clip originated on Olivia's Instagram stories and has been reshared by Instagram blogger Mary Pants reviewing 9 Day Fiance fans' interest in Olivia's arrest and the altercation behind it. Olivia takes aim at Molly Hopkins, claiming she's been on her own since age seven. Throughout two videos saved by Mary Pants, Olivia opened up about growing up with Molly as a mother and no father. Father. She claimed that she had been through 20 years of abuse and neglect, claiming that Molly left her alone to fend for herself from age 7. Olivia said that she did well in school and brought home as on her own account and that Molly was never around for any of it. She also talked about filming 9 Day Fiance with her mother and her then husband, Louis, when she was just 12 years old. Olivia admitted that she was often disrespectful to her mom, but also claimed that after filming for hours, production would use a small piece of what she said and did, edit it to make her look even worse with all her eye rolls added for effect. Making matters even worse, she said that she wasn't given an option of whether she could film or not, being that she was so young. I don't know if you guys realize, but every single scene I filmed was over like three hours. It's three hours of filming, and then you watch the episode and they put in about 30 seconds of what I said. They, they cropped in all my eye rolls, they cropped in all my everything, and made me look a certain type of way. Yeah, I'm a little bit disrespectful to my mother. I don't believe in respect your elders. I believe in respect people who respect you. Um, and that's something I've never once ever received from my mom. I did well in school. I made A's. 
uh, all on my own accord because my mom was never there since I was seven years old I stayed by myself and I just think it's funny that now everyone has something to say so I just needed to get that off my chest and clear that up because I think it's totally inappropriate that there's women mothers even a school counselor commenting saying she you know I must have been on drugs all this stuff not the truth not the truth was not on drugs um just had 20 years of abuse and neglect I grew up without my dad so my mom was the only person I had um uh, yeah, it does bother me, actually, because people are painting an image out that's not me. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments, but I find all those family vlogging channels super cringe for this reason. It's a bunch of parents exploiting the kids, just like that Eight Passengers channel. Molly exploited her daughter for clits to go on the show and be famous. She neglected her daughter, and she is the prime reason why her daughter turned out to be the way she is. But she won't accept responsibility for that either, probably. What's so up, dudes? It's a new day today. I'm a little bit hungover because last night I took my family to Barry Manilow. My dad is a huge Barry Manilow fan. I didn't know one of his songs. However, I left that concert a fan because last night he shattered Elvis's record. Barry Manilow is 80 years old and he's still up there singing those songs, doesn't miss a beat. I left very impressed. I'm just gonna ramble on. We're also gonna talk about Kelly and Molly and talk more about them. But first, I wanna tell you a story. Barry talked about how his grandpa believed in him from day one. His grandpa, for some reason, recognized that he was musically gifted. He doesn't know how he did it, but he could tell. What his grandfather would do is every two weeks or so, he would get Barry in the car and they drive across the bridge to Times Square where there was a machine where he could put in a quarter and make a record. So he would put in a quarter, make a record, hand the mic to Barry and say, all right, Barry, sing. And Barry would be like, oh, I don't know. What, what do I do? Barry's a little kid, right? So at first he didn't know what to do, but eventually he caught on. Fast forward, you were right, grandpa. Barry's a mega superstar and he dedicated many songs to his grandpa and he sang a couple last night. Barry's grandpa believed believed in him and helped him, went out of his way, saved up. They didn't grow up with money. So he saved up to make sure that he could look out for his whole family and try to help Barry get to where he wants to be. That's a beautiful thing. And you know what the problem is with Kelly and Molly? She could have easily said, you know what, Kelly? You spent 20 years being a police officer in New York City and now you wanna relax, which is totally understandable, but are there any hobbies or any passions that you put on the side because you had to make ends meet in New York City, one of the most expensive places to live? For Kelly, I don't know your relationship history, man, but one thing I do know is I understand what it's like to try and shell out all this love and devotion because you feel like if you do the most for somebody, you'll be indispensable in their life and they'll never leave you. I think that's relatable for a lot of people. A lot of us can see someone's potential, but here's the problem. We can only meet people where they're at in life. Interestingly enough, the story about Kelly allegedly choking and slamming Olivia came out only a couple of weeks before the show 90 Day The Last Resort was filmed. 90 Day Fiancé star Molly Hawkins' daughter Olivia makes allegations against Kelly, claiming he assaulted her after she used a racial slur. Molly was so eager to demonize Kelly and hop on this bandwagon because she was looking for an out of this relationship because Molly has a fetish for men that work dangerous jobs. I swear to God, this is the last article we're going to read in this video because we read a lot of articles in this video. But hands down, this is the one with the most amount of tea spilled. Meet the prison kingpin in Molly's life. We got a picture of the guy right here. Here. Molly Hopkins is best known for her roles on 90 Day Fiancé Pillow Talk and 90 Day Fiancé The Single Life. Molly appeared on the sofa on Pillow Talk providing commentary on 90 Day Fiancé episodes, first with Cynthia Decker. Then Molly was sitting on the couch with Kelly Brown. She met Kelly on The Single Life when her marriage to Luis Mendez imploded. Molly was searching for the right man to spend her life with. She met Kelly and it looked like she may have found her match. As we know, it didn't turn out that way, but justice for Kelly because this is another Amber Heard situation. Then in November, as reported by Mary Pant, Cynthia responded to a fan's inquiry about seeing Cynthia on Pillow Talk again. By the way things looked, Cynthia would not return to Pillow Talk with Molly. The fan said, please don't take this wrong. I think you are great and I loved you on Pillow Talk, but things seem off now between you and Molly. I wish you would come back on Pillow Talk. You and Molly were really funny 
together. Her boyfriend is nice, but you two were better. Cynthia Decker responded, Thank you, but Molly and I are no longer friends, and I will not be back on Pillow Talk. I wish I had a different answer for you. Fan then responded, I'm so sorry. I could just tell by the post that something was off. I hope I wasn't being rude in my comment. I said I really liked you two on Pillow Talk. It is not as funny with her and her boyfriend. I would like for TLC to find another spot for you. Good luck and God bless. Thanks for answering. Cynthia followed up. Thank you and no, not offended. I just have not made an announcement about it. Thank you so much for caring about me. It's been a very difficult time for me, but I will be much better soon. News then broke that Molly's relationship with Kelly was over as exclusively reported by Mary Pants. A source close to the family named one of the reasons behind the implosion of this relationship, Molly's older daughter, Olivia. The rumors that Cynthia came between the couple are just that, rumors. In fact, Cynthia and Kelly have met only a few times. Cynthia did not come between the couple, but there was someone that did. The source named the major cause of the breakup as Evil Olivia. She's not nice and is out of control. Then Kelly published an email he says he received from Olivia, which was of course the email where she called him the N-word on email and didn't even CC her mom. Olivia then filed a police report alleging that Kelly choke slammed her four months prior. She would list her mother as a witness to the alleged attack. As of press time, no charges have been pressed against Kelly and the case has been closed. Cynthia, meanwhile, has filed her police complaints against both Olivia and Molly. As previously reported, Cynthia had to file a police complaint against Olivia on January 22nd, 2023, due to her increasingly aggressive behavior and intimidating employees. Olivia's increasingly aggressive and erratic behavior forced Cynthia to come forward about the abuse she had suffered at the hands of Molly herself. Herself. The next day on January 23rd, 2023, Cynthia filed her police report about the incident with Molly on June 3rd, 2020. Molly and Kelly will appear on a 90 day couples therapy show with co-stars Ed, Angela, Jovi, and Kalani set to air in August, 2023. As previously reported, while Kelly and Molly were filming therapy sessions, she was allegedly secretly communicating with another man. She was also allegedly communicating with this man before she met Kelly and reportedly broke up up with him because she was getting ready to film the single life with Kelly. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We knew that was the case. No wonder why in every single episode she's looking for any reason to not like Kelly. Because Molly went on the show for the paycheck and the promotion. Meanwhile, Kelly went on the show to actually repair y'all's relationship. Allegedly, Molly was communicating with yet another man during this time and possibly during her relationship with Kelly. Meet Molly's current love interest, the self-proclaimed prison kingpin in Molly's life. Kelly got to meet the man who would eventually take his place at the Woman's Atlanta Expo in November 2022, the last public event Kelly and Molly would be photographed together. Mr. Prison Kingpin was at the expo networking and allegedly flirting with Molly. Mr. Prison Kingpin has served most of his adult life in prison for drug trafficking offenses. He was recently released after serving 12 years in a recent interview. He says he is the oldest of 11 children and started selling drugs as a foster child. He says prison is a college for criminals and you never forget the day the handcuffs were put on you. Molly and the staff at Libby Ray Lingerie aren't strangers to having their mud shots taken though. As previously reported, there is a lineup of mud shots for the Libby Ray Lingerie staff, from Molly to Olivia to the store management. <laughs> Molly Hopkins has dissolved her friendship and business relationship with Cynthia Decker. Her relationship with Kelly Brown is over. Her daughter Olivia is facing legal troubles. Read more about that here. Will her prison kingpin love interest help her navigate all the bumps in the road? What will happen when 90 Day Couple Therapy airs in August 2023? What do you think of all this? Drop a line below and tell me what you think. Oh, what do I think? Well, let's put it this way. If Molly's a graph, hopeflation is on the rise. <laughs> I'd like to propose a toast to Molly, the woman that's actually a mother of two. Let's not forget that she also has a daughter with special needs. But instead of giving her daughter a good example of what love should look like, a healthy relationship, or wanting to create stability for her daughter, she's too busy trying to ruin the reputation of a man that was a cop for 20 years that was a good dude that genuinely loved her because she wants to chase the bad boy, or in this case, the criminal. Now for Kelly and guys like Kelly, never choose a woman that doesn't treat you like a king. Your partner should put you on. And now when I see Kelly crying hysterically on the show talking about how he doesn't feel safe in this relationship. He sacrificed everything for this woman. I get it because the minute Olivia went with this story, 
Molly abandoned him like that. She dropped him like a hot potato because she wanted to fuck the prisoner. Allegations like the ones this mother and daughter pair have made against Kelly could easily have ruined his life. And if I was Kelly, I'd be incredibly insulted. Like y'all really wanna try and convince the entire world that this man doesn't have enough restraint, that when a woman calls him the N-word, he decks her or puts his hands on her? Please, Ed called him a bitch twice on the show and he didn't do anything to Ed. Molly doesn't want stability in her life as much as excitement, even if it's with a dangerous individual like this guy. You're boring. Wow. Oh, he's boring because he doesn't work a dangerous job anymore. Molly, you didn't invest half as much effort into this relationship as Kelly did. And when he says things on the show like you're not trustworthy, you're lying, you're not telling the truth, I believe him and just about the entire audience believes him because you've lied since day one. If you got some spare change, buy our merch. If you want some one-on-one -on -one time with me, I would love to talk to you. Please order a cameo. I'm the number one cameo creator in the entire world. I'm super thankful that y'all watch my content. Comment below, subscribe. Love you, bro. Love you, bro. Follow me on Twitch and on Instagram right now.